So I know quite a few of you struggle a bit when it comes to calculating the gradient and finding the tangent lines and things like that. Remember, when you're finding the tangent lines or the gradient, you always have to differentiate. So let's just consider that we have a function. Consider the function f given by f of x is equal to, let's have 3 times e to the 2x minus 8. Okay, now whenever, now if it says find the tangent line at the y intercept or where it crosses the y axis or something like that, therefore for the y intercept we need to let x equal 0. So first of all we need to differentiate. Now if this is a calculator paper we can cheat. Now let me use green for what the calculator would, would type in. So, so for the calculator, now I don't ever want to see this um, in your answers, okay? The reason being you have to use mathematical notation and not, cal and not uh, the calculator. So what I type in is tangent line, open brackets. Now we say, we do f of, well, if I define f of x, so I would define it as f1 of x. So I'm just going to do, I can type this, I can write this in as 3 times e to the 2x minus 8, comma, and then I'm going to say x is equal to 0, close bracket. So I'm going to put that into the calculator. So I'm just going to type in, now if when I type it in you'll see that it's all in italics, tangent, and I'm putting in line, and now it goes non-italic. That's 3 times e to the 2x minus 8 comma x equals 0 so I've got what I get therefore y and remember you've got to put the y's there y is equal to 6x minus 5 now how would I do this without the calculator to do this without the calculator I would and I would almost certainly say you should always be doing this to differentiate the function that becomes 6e to the 2x. Remember, the 2 came forward, so you differentiate 2x to give you 2. 2 times 3 is 6. Now I put in 0, now I put in zero into x, so I get 6 times e to the 2 dots of there, which is equal to 6 times e to the 0. Anything to the power of 0 is, is 1, so it's 6 times 1, which is 6, so the gradient is 6. Therefore, I need to know, I know that m is equal to 6, so, my, so I have a y is equal to mx plus c. Do I know what the value of y is? No, not yet. So I need to put in the value of y into f of x. So remember, f of x is equal to 3 times e to the 2x minus 8. So I have 3 times 1, e to the 0 is 1, remember, so it's equal to minus 5. So therefore, I say y is equal to minus 5. So using y equals mx plus c, I've got minus 5, open brackets, m, which I calculate to be 6, um, then I have x, which is 0, plus c. So I have c is equal to minus 5, and therefore I have y is equal to 6x minus 5, as what I had before. Now, if I wanted to have the gradient at a particular point, so this is a different type of question. Let's say, find the gradient at x is equal to 3. You'd put in, the, we'll say f of x is still, uh, what did we say it was? Um, 3 times e to the 2x minus 8. So I put in, I differentiate it because it says gradient. Well, actually, it's going to put in. Let me know, I'm, I'm doing too much. I apologize, I'm doing this too quickly. 
Okay, let's put three in there. So I get three times e to the six minus eight, and that's a natural value. You can use your calculator to tell me what it's exactly. Um, it's going to be a bit of a nasty number. Okay, that's a bit different. Um, you could ask a set, another type of question. So, for example, determine the x coordinate when the gradient is equal to 5. So again, we'll use this same function, 3 times e to the 2x minus 8. So I've got to differentiate it. Always differentiate it when I've got the gradient. Did I differentiate that correctly before? <sighs> My game. What am I doing? Let's go back. I just remembered I, I didn't differentiate that at all, did I? Um, There we go. It's early in the morning. That's what it was. It should have been, sorry, for both 6 times e to the 6. Um, so I've differentiated that, and now I need to let that equal to 5. So I let that equal to 5, and therefore we have 5 is equal to 6e to the 2x. Now you can use your calculator to solve, but uh, I think the hardest type this is non-calculator, and I divide by 6, which is equal to e to the 2x. Uh, remember how you undo an e, you take lungs. And the lun and the e cancel to give me 2x, and therefore x is equal to lun to the 5 over 6 over 2. That's going to give you full marks, but in a slightly neater way, you're going to, it's the same as doing x equals, because when you divide, that's the same as doing ln of 5 minus ln of 6. It's the same thing over 2, and that's how your calculator, I think, will, will, will write it. And I'm hoping, as long as you get the second bit correct, you're happy with, with that so far. If it says coordinate point, I want y to which so you'd take the x value and you would sub it in to the original function which would be quite challenging here but on the calculator it should be fine